I'm going to add another 37.6 gigabyte. Click resize and we're getting this error again. So how to fix that? I'm going to show it to you right now. All I have allocated is 15.2 gigabyte. As you can see, I got 40 gigabyte available. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today in a few minutes, I'm going to show you what to do if your disk space in Linux Mint in virtual machine is not enough and you want to expand it, but it doesn't work for some reason. I'm going to show you what is the reason for that and how to fix it. So stay tuned for this video. And if you will find this video helpful, please support it with your like, subscribe to the channel for more interesting, helpful Linux videos. I appreciate that you joined the Linux community and that we'll learn from each other. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So when you start in Oracle VirtualBox, I think this is a 7.0 version. You can see on the left side here, and even on the previous version, it's the same. You get in all your virtual machines here. As you can see, I have Linux Mint, Linux Lite, Ubuntu, Windows 10. So you can have a variety of different machines. But if you choose Linux Mint, you can see that I have allocated 50 gigabyte for this partition. And if you go to the file menu, tools, virtual media manager, it opens up an additional menu here. You got to choose your virtual machine, Linux Mint 21. And here you can understand how much storage you want to be allocated for this specific virtual machine. So for example, if you have created your virtual machine with 15 gigabyte of storage and you find that it's not enough, you can extend it to more storage. And as you can see, I have already allocated 50 gigabyte for this specific machine. And one more tip, you can only increase the amount of storage used with this virtual machine. You cannot decrease it. As you can see, for example, I want to decrease it back to 15 gigabyte. It's giving me this message here that cannot change medium size from 50 gigabyte to 15 as storage shrinking is not currently implemented. So make sure before you expand it, you know that it's going to be using more storage and you won't be able to convert it back. You're going to have to reinstall your virtual machine if you don't want it to be using so much storage. But anyway, if you go here again at the top here, you can see that the virtual size is 50 gigabyte. The actual size is only 14.35 gigabytes. So I'm still having lots of storage. But if we go ahead and start the machine, and then if you go to the start menu here and type in space, and then go to the disk analyzer, as you can see, all I have allocated is 15.2 gigabyte, which was the original amount that I have allocated when I created this virtual machine. But now I have extended to 50 gigabyte, but I'm not able to use it in this virtual machine. So this is the problem that I will show you how to fix today. Let's go ahead and close it. Go back to the start menu and type in disk. Then go to the second option here, disks. As you can see here, now it shows 54 gigabyte hard disk for this virtual machine. And there is 38 gigabyte free space. So this free space, it is not formatted. It's not initialized. This is why it's not being seen by Linux operating system. As you can see here, it's only showing 16 gigabyte EXT4 partition. And this is a partition that was originally created when I have created this virtual machine. So now all I have to do is just extend it with this free space. So all you have to do, just choose your original partition, then go to this gear icon, click on it, left mouse click, then choose resize. And as you can see here, you got this slider. So all you have to do, is just gonna slide it to the right. And you can see this number start changing. The free space following is decreasing. The partition size is increasing. And the difference is increasing as well. The difference shows you how much extra storage you're going to add to this specific partition. So I'm just going to use all free space available. There we go. So there's going to be nothing left. I'm going to add another 37.6 gigabyte. Then you just got to click resize. It's going to ask you for the root password to authenticate this action. Then press authenticate. So as you can see, we're getting this message saying error creating partition, error creating partition u disk error quark zero so we can close it this problem will happen also if you just press plus here and try to create this partition for example we can choose the partition size if you don't want to use all the free space you can decrease the partition size and then you're going to have some space left over and you can create another partition but i recommend just using everything in one partition and then you can just create folders then just press next here it will ask you for the volume name let's just call it a media 
type you can select either to use it as internal disk to use with Linux operating systems. It's going to format it as an EXT4. I recommend using this one, but if you need to use it with Windows, you need to format it in NTFS or FAT. FAT is used pretty much with every operating system because this is a very old file format, but I will use the EXT4, then just press create, and we get in this error again. So how to fix that? I'm going to show it to you right now. Just go ahead and close this. It's not going to work like that. Then go to the start menu, go to the software manager. It's going to be the second icon from the top. Then over here in the search icon, just type in gparted. It's going to search for this program here and click on it once then click install and type in your password again click authenticate you can also install it from the terminal we're just going to do it this way just wait till it installs this program once it's installed go ahead and launch it it's going to ask you for the password once again and when it gives you this message here saying that not all of the space is available to DAV SAD appears to be used you can fix the gpt to use all of the space just click fix there we go you can minimize this as you can see this is the original size for the partition that i have created when i was creating this virtual machine and this is an unallocated size over here so we just need to choose the partition that we have already created before then right click on it then choose resize and here you can choose how much you want to resize it. Just drag this slider all the way to the end. If you want to use all the free space that you have, if you want to create a few partitions, you can do that as well. But I'm just going to use all the space that I got for one partition and then just click resize. There we go. As you can see here, now the partition size has changed. It's 49.5 gigabyte available and an allocated size is only one megabyte, which is nothing. So as you can see, the size has changed, but actually the operation is not complete. As you can see on the bottom here, it says one operation pending. So to complete this operation, you need to press this check mark. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to apply the pending operation? Just click apply. Once the operation is finished, go ahead and press close. Now it's all done. There is no operations pending. We can go ahead and close this window. And now if we go to the computer, and go to home as you can see i got 40 gigabyte available now i can put way more files in this virtual machine so this is great i hope you guys find this video helpful if you like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channels for more helpful interesting linux videos if you have other comments questions drop them down in the comment section below also you can go ahead and check out my other videos about linux mint if you want to learn new things and expand your knowledge but this is it for now i hope you have a nice day see you soon bye bye